Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and I thought I would give you guys an update on the whole uh, get my wisdom tooth removed thing. I did put it inside of the community tab. I use the community tab like pretty often, so if you guys miss any messages or I give you guys like an update, it's going to be on there. But yeah, so the whole wisdom tooth thing, <laughs> it, it wasn't as bad as I thought thought it would be i thought it would be like excruciating pain but no actually it was just pretty minor pain the only pain that was through the process afterwards was um just keeping a little cloth or glands little thing in your mouth into it like no i think it was for like 24 hours uh pretty soon here i'm gonna have to get up and you know rent some yeah, put some salt water in my mouth, hold that in there, then, you know, spit that out. I got to do that for a couple of days, too. They also gave me, like, this medicine, like, this hydron thing that I have to take, like, every four to six hours when needed for pain. To be honest, I never feel, like, the effects of, like, tiredness or dizziness unless I'm, like, laying down. If I'm standing up or just sitting down, I don't feel it at all. But, yeah, it's supposed to, like, you know, pretty much calm the pain and stuff like that. I haven't been really feeling too much during the process. But they tell me the rest of my teeth are pretty healthy. It's just the two back ones, two top back ones that, you know, are commonly pretty much go through, like, infections or decay. So, yeah. It's a, it's a good thing that I wasn't just, <laughs> I thought I was just the only person in the world who just fucked himself over. But no, nah, they said toothbrushes can't really reach all the way back at the top, at the top, like uh, teeth in the back. But yeah, so was, for all that they told me, everything else is pretty much healthy. I do have to get the two wisdom tubes removed down here. Just because my other, no, nah, not not wisdom tooths. I gotta get normal tooth removed so my other wisdom tooth teeth can come in. But from what I know, they told me that the two wisdom teeth that are down here have not even came in yet. I have to get, I have to make like a plan to get like one of the teeth next to the wisdom tooth to get it to come out. Or they both can get infected and I can lose them. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, keeping healthy teeth comes at a price sometimes, too. Because <laughs> my other wisdom tooth hasn't even grown in or anything. So, yeah, I got to do something about that in the future. I mean, it's not like a rush thing. I don't have to rush that. But next week, I'll probably get the other top one removed, too. Since it has a hole in it now. Because of the decay. Yeah. I wish... We did have two brushes that reached all the way back there, like normal ones that weren't overpriced. <laughs> That'd be cool. But overall, right now, I feel no pain or anything. We're, we're Gucci. All good. But the whole process of getting the tooth removed was pretty easy, except for them sticking a needle in your gums. <laughs> And, you know, injecting that stuff that makes it, like, real numb to where you don't feel it as they're taking it out. It was, like, a real weird process to where you think you're going to feel pain, but you don't when they're taking it out. It was just pretty much them shaking it back and forth, pulled it out. I didn't even know that they took it out because I didn't feel it. <laughs> that was the insane part. I'm just sitting here like, wow, I thought I was going to actually feel some pain when it came to that. The only painful part is... A little prick of the needle and that's pretty much it if you can handle that then you're just pretty much good um other than that it, yeah if you guys are ever feeling any pain in your like mouth teeth or anything i definitely recommend going to the dentist and checking it out because you never know trust me it's not as bad as everybody says it is it's really not <laughs> but yeah just letting you guys know why they're Probably won't be as many videos as I want at the moment. Because, yeah, I still got to keep on, like, whole instructions, things that they gave me. 
but I'll try and put out a video ever now and then. Right now it's kind of relaxed, so as I'm talking, it, it's, I don't really feel anything. My jaw is kind of sore, though, from just holding that stupid uh, glands thing in my mouth. But, yeah, I'm pretty much stuck on putting jello stuff like that. <laughs> All these type of soft foods. Feels bad, mate. Feels bad. But, you know, hey, it's not all that bad, to be honest. I get pudding, ice cream, <laughs> any soft food. Then pretty much the next two days, I think for two days I'm stuck on soft food. Then I'm ready to move up to, like, somewhat of even, well, somewhat less softer food, as long as it's not crunchy or anything like that. So, yeah, that's the thing. And the most annoying part of getting a risen tooth removed is the bleeding. <laughs> just holding that glands in your mouth every time you just sit there like, dude, why is there so much damn blood? <laughs> it's not like over the top bleeding or anything like that. It's just like, you just got to spit every like few minutes. You got to change them over like every 30 minutes. You can still sleep with one of them in your mouth though. Because it doesn't move at all as long as you're like holding it there. Ah, man, it was just an interesting experience because I never had, like, a wisdom tooth for mood or anything. First time ever, and it went by pretty smoothly. It didn't have to have surgery or anything like that. They were talking about, like, surgically removed stuff. I was just like, dude, please don't. <laughs> just take it out the normal way. But, yeah. Everything was pretty calm. Um, as of right now, I should be making another video of an old game that I have not played in a long time, but they released it on mobile, which would be pretty interesting to check out. But with that said, guys, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of, up, of an update right there, and I will talk to you guys next time. Until then, peace out.